Hallo! <coughs> Sad and friends, Bucky. What up? Yo. <coughs> I made a post last night. Talking about how the Grand how the Canyons are formed. Because I believe that somehow the elite dirt bags that run the world uh, created so much electricity inside the Frankenstein ball with picture two glass dome thing that you live in. Or we live in. Well, I might actually be in a different spaceship, but whatever. Because I believe I have my own. But, okay, we're not talking about that. Okay, so. So I believe that we know that the Grand Canyons, these cans, they're caused by electricity, not by water erosion. So how does electricity create these canyons? What creates so much electricity that's going to create a carve out of a freaking canyon? And it, you know, obviously nobody's going to come along and tell us this because they're all a bunch of dirtbags that wants to keep everything a secret so they could lord over you and deceive you and exploit you in every way possible they could possibly dream up. So what causes them? What creates them? If it's not water, it's electricity. Where is this electricity that's created that's so massive that it carves out giant caverns? Does anybody have any answer to this question? Or I'm the one guy do all the thinking around here, even though you're not supposed to think. All right, well, I come up with a couple of possible reasons how they're created. Well, we know the Red Dragon, Tail of the Destroyer, debris trail of the Planet Caravan is coming by elliptical Nibiru system. When that shit, when, when the system goes on its way out, way out, not when it's on its way in, but when it's on its way out, that's when all that destruction happens, okay? The red drag, the tail of the red dragon whips around and annihilates you, us, whatever. So, <clears throat> we know that you're in a, we're in a picture tube, okay? We're in a picture tube. We're on a plate that's spinning around. Now, it's not a plate. It's not flat. It's not round. It's concave. That's why NASA knows this shit. That's why they all satellite dishes are concave, okay? Get the best reception. <clears throat> That's why you got people fighting over it's flat. No, it's round. No, it's flat. No, it's round. It's not flat or round. It's concave. That's why Mexico built that giant concave uh, antenna because they know that. You know? So... Now what happens? Well, the red tetra, the red dragon whips his tail, annihilates you, and the glass ceiling is cracks and falls on your head. Giant shards of glass come down. When this is recorded in ancient history as burning embers, because the the ceiling is covered with bacteria, because I don't believe it's fell for a thousand years. <clears throat> Yeah, we've only been back from exile for 400 years, but it, it, it might have stayed intact last time because it's, it wasn't a cataclysmic passing. The cataclysmic passing is every seven generations when we switch quantum generators, you know, from the last quantum gener generator could have been whatever it was, Jupiter or Neptune or whatever, and then probably Neptune because that's the guy with the, the, the fork thing. So that's Neptune. So... So that was the former Saturn crown prince. I'm Saturn crown prince. Well, he would have been the Neptune crown prince. You know, same shit. So.
The ceiling falls in your head. Asteroids fall down on your lips. The earth turns upside down and sideways. All the oceans slosh all over the place. There's asteroids falling down. You got... And now, once we enter the winter triangle, then my island, then our real creator allies can come in to come in to come in, because they can't come in now because it's a bipolar establishment. So they'll create a double of themselves. So they can't come in yet until we line up, until the pyramids line up with the constellations. All they already explained all that shit. We enter the winter triangle, the dark rift, and then the keys, then the locks, uh, then then time stops. The, the, the world stops spinning. Days of darkness come. Everything lines up. And then the doors open. But like I said, we can start to do rituals to start to pull on the door already. Start creating a nursery to open it. You know, might be able to open it before and then have a better chance to escape safely without being sucked out like a giant vacuum cleaner or whatever. Giant lotto ball, earth vortex, vacuum cleaner. So, then what else we got to contend with? Atmospheric lightning. Plus the fact that the thermosphere is actually, it's, it, it, the thermosphere uh, has the potential to heat up. That's why the fix wrote the song, Red Skies at Night. Oh, 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 oh. Red sky at night. Why does the sky turn red? Because particles uh, start to build up in the thermosphere, and then they start to heat up. So the thermosphere becomes red hot. So now you got the thermosphere becoming red hot, and the ceiling is covered with back thousand years of bacteria, which fall down on your head too. So you got the earth turned upside down and sideways. You got the glass ceiling falling on your head. You got asteroids falling on your lips. You got burn bacteria falling down on you. You got the ocean sloshing all around. You got uh, uh, galactic races fucking warring at each other and shooting at each other and shooting huge laser beams and B-21 space modulator laser, beam, laser beams at each other and whatever, whatever. You got hybrids fighting against humans because that's going to happen pretty soon because... All, we know that all hospitals, churches, and schools are run by hybrids. We know that all churches, schools, and hospitals are built on lee lines, and they're built with sacred geometry to create energy, and that's why all the people, horrible people, these people are so disgusting. Anybody that runs a church, a school, or a hospital is the most disgusting motherfuckers that ever exist because they know all this shit, and they, they use your energy that you create to facilitate the prison bar that holds you in the grid that they created, all right? That's why all these people are disgusting and they need to be rounded up and put in prison until I can publicly execute them. Unless they want to search for redemption, but I don't see anybody search for redemption besides the Pope and the Vatican. And I, as far as I'm concerned, the fact that the, the, the church doctrine has been eradicated is no longer. And the fact that the Pope just came out and uh, told the truth about your being you're bond that you've been bonded and enslaved and uh wealth is you know wealth has occurred you know they created debt your name but at the same time interest has uh, accumulated in your name that's tracked on the stock market as a pork belly your pork bellies by the way <clears throat> so everybody is worth millions and millions of dollars where is this worth what is the, where is the worth well the, uh, I forgot I found out what it was but I forgot what it's called. It's called it's some kind of fund, whatever. Shit. I wish I could remember. I don't remember. Okay. So the wealth should still be there somewhere. Someone should still be in charge of this wealth that has occurred because of your the interest that's been accrued through your bonded enslavement, you know. That the countries use uh, well, not countries, but colonies use to create debt, you know, because so why, what is your worth? How does your worth begin? Because every soul is worth $50,000. And that's why they create or make all these wars and force people into certain domains because 
uh, who's ever in charge of that domain then becomes the owner of that soul. The, each soul is worth $50,000. Okay? I told her all this. So you got all that shit occurring. Now, don't forget, once the glass ceiling is compromised, it falls on your head and asteroids and bacteria fall on your lips. Uh, then what happens? Well, the oxygen escapes and all, all the metals that are in the soil ignite, immediately ignite, and then the earth becomes a sea of burning lava. The dirt just lights on fire. That's the sea of, uh, that's the, the lake of fire. You're in the lake of fire. You're already in the lake of fire. There's no lake of fire to go to because you're already in it. All right. So you got all this shit occurring. Now you got these people hiding in the underground cities. So you got huge, massive underground cities that could possibly be thousands of miles wide. Right. Well, hold on. Let me stay with, stay with the canyons first. So I believe that the canyons are created by the atmospheric lightning and the static charge that it, that occurs when the planets become so freaking close and the tail whips around and creates all this static electricity and then giant lightning bolts shoot down and create these cavern, uh, canyons. Possible. Possible. <clears throat> So you got all these people in these underground cities. Now, we know if you look at other planets and where is most of the, the civilizations located inside craters. If you look at other planets, where is all the buildings at? Uh, you know, a lot of those inside these giant craters. So how did these craters come about? You know, now we as dumb, dumb humans believe, well, the craters were caused because a giant asteroid landed or there was a giant, huge nuclear explosion or whatever, whatever, but this might not be the case. Now, we know Hollywood knows all the secrets. We know in that movie was the end of the world movie, whatever, when the people are taken off in the plane, uh, Nicolas Cage, whatever, and they're taken off in the plane. Like, was he in there? I don't know. But it was the end of the movie, and they're taken off a plane. Everything's collapsing behind them. We know Hollywood knows all the secrets. And they reveal bits of truth in their movies, you know. And then throw in some shit to make it, you believe it's fantasy. Basically, they tell you the truth. They just don't tell you it's true. So, <clears throat> what is it? Well, and what had happened the other day? I told you I had a move. I had a dream where uh, it showed me that there's huge underneath the cities and underneath buildings and shit. It's all hollowed out and prepared to collapse in on itself. So you take all that shit and you put it together, and what do you got? Well, it's possible. That when all these calamities occur, that uh, when everything collapses in on itself, that what's left? Well, you're going to have a giant crater with the underground city at the bottom of the crater. Now, you got the word crater and you got the word creator. So, they sound awfully similar to me. So, why is, why is crater and creator so similar? Well, it could be that the people that when all this occurs and the craters form and the underground cities are appear because everything falls on top of them and then you can see them. Well, unless they're totally buried and you can't see shit. Uh, eventually, you know, they're going to clean that out or whatever and then you're going to be able to see the cities. So maybe that's the association between creator and creator, you know, something like that. Something like that. Let me see how this thing's doing. All right, still going. Now, I'm the great redeemer, okay? Don't forget. Do I want to execute anybody and kill anybody? I, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. I want to save everybody. I don't want to kill anybody. I want to save everybody. You're going to die anyway. There's no reason for me to kill you. 
you're going to die. All I got to do is leave you here. So now you got these observer races that come along and try to tell you that there's no such thing as salvation. There's no such thing. There's no reason to search for redemption. And there's no such thing as exile. That's the, the, the bullshit that they're propagating. Okay. Well, if you go back in any ancient teachings or religious text or whatever, what does it say? What does it talk about? It talks about salvation, talks about redemption, and it talks about exile. Every book, exile, 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 exile. Okay, where the fuck did the Mayans and the Ma the Aztecs and the uh, Nazca people go? Well, when you go to dumb, dumb school, liar, scumbag, hybrid, filth institutions of death, uh, then what do they say? Oh, the Mayans and the Aztecs, they just disappeared into thin air and nobody knows where they went. Uh, duh. Well, I never bought that story. People don't just disappear in that fucking thin air, okay? Sorry. All right? Now, what do they claim? They claim that all you got to do is meditate enough and freak out and go into la-la land and that you're going to be safe and you're going to be in another reality and that everything's going to be all goody-goody. And that they're going to make all the nuclear power plants disappear in the thin air and everything every, everything else. Okay, I, I, I'm not buying all that hoo-ha nonsense. Okay, forget it. Okay, you don't have to turn into fucking spiritual guru uh, and float off into La La Land, okay? My allies are just like me. Right? I'm talking to you right now. They're just like this. They're in spaceships and they're interdimensional and all the other shit, but they're still just like me, okay? They're not a fucking sitting there going, um, 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 whatever the fuck these people are doing, okay? Yes. They're giving good information. Yes, they help me tremendously. Well, whatever, how much a video can help you. There's not one nigga that came knocking on my door to see if I need any help. Not one motherfucker. Okay, so these people, elite got the, got the capability to come here. The greys and reptilians got the capability to come here. The observer races got the capability to come here, yet none of them have come here. Okay, these people walk around on channel changers. They can switch from frequency to frequency, timeline to timeline, dimension to dimension, do whatever the fuck they want. Okay, so they can come here. So you can't fool me. You understand? So why do they choose not to help me? Because I'm the living proof that there's, there's no death. And they don't want you to know that because why? Because they want to keep you in fear of death and locked in the illusion of time that does not exist. Time doesn't exist. So they want to keep propagating all these illusions to exploit the shit out of you and keep you in fear. And they don't want exile to occur because they want holding on to this fucking illusion in their fucking demented, deranged minds that everything is going to be all goody goody and they're going to continue to exploit you like the human corn. You know? No. Who the fuck would want to stay here? Is a giant cesspit of radiation, toxic waste, and filth. Who the fuck would want to continue to stay here? I don't. I want to get the fuck out of here. Fuck this shit. Okay? And now you got all these people, elite people, whoever runs the world, Billy Joe, Jim Bob, Donna Harp, that wants to fucking kill a thousand fucking cows by creating a snowstorm and burying them alive and freezing them to fucking death. Uh, these people are fucking monsters, okay? Why are they such monsters? Because they're infested with the program virus that hides in the fucking uh, oil reserves. That's why I said you got to destroy every single product that contains a petroleum product needs to be immediately destroyed. Okay. That's probably why they burn books because ink has petroleum in it probably. Who the fuck knows? I don't know and I don't care. But just saying. Okay. So what else? What else are I going to say? Uh... Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I said this in my post last night, but I'll say it again. Is things still going? 
Okay, still going. Okay. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, um, damn, it's important to what I say in my post. Uh, I don't know, I forgot. Hmm. Yeah, you ever wonder why schools are uh, built the way they are, all weird looking? You ever wonder why hospitals are built the way they are, all weird looking? Oh, they just chose to build a hospital there. That's just, they just came up with that location, just pulled it out of their fucking ass. They just chose to build a school there, came with that location and pulled it out of their fucking ass. No, they didn't. Oh, I know what they're going to say. Listen, I already told you, you want to know your reality? Reverse engineer grandma's television is down in the fucking basement, okay? What else is related to our reality? Well, basically, all city and residential planning is planned in a certain way so it's like a circuit board and you're the fucking crystals and the codes, or we are. We're the crystals and the light codes. What's inside of a, what is a radio? Well, it's a transceiver, it's a receiver and a transistor. What's the fucking chip in my tooth these motherfuckers put in there? Transceiver, receiver, transistor, whatever. That's how probably these fucking dirtbags are listening to me. Plus they got some other fucking technology where they can look at anything because they hijacked the fucking, your DNA signal and they hijack the signal coming from Saturn, the quantum generator and all this other hoo-ha shit. So, not only do you live inside of a giant television, your Sims, your Tron people, your points of light, your crystals, uh, basically you live inside of a giant radio. What's inside of a radio? When you go to the dial, what's inside the radio? Well, it's a fucking metal ring hoop, bunch of fucking metal ring hoop thing. What's that? Solar system. Hello, going back to Jamaica. So why does nobody want to help me? Why does nobody want to come here? Why does nobody want to support me? Other than the fact that I'm living proof there is no death. Why? What? Don't ask why, but what is the reason? Instead of looking at me because I'm like Neo, so I have great capability because I'm the direct connection to the Saturn, Saturn, the Saturn the quantum generator, so I can perform miracles and shit if I, my DNA gets fully activated, which the police, you know, probably arrested me on purpose, like they always do, because they know that every time I have to go give a urine, I got to walk through the metal detector and my DNA gets destroyed. I got to start all over again. So by doing that, they fucking keep me fucked, you know. So I can only uh, develop so much and then I got to start back from square one, you know. The people that killed me are the police. Okay, the day that they blew my brains out, the police came by and looked and started laughing at me and the, tr the treacherous tramp... Crack queen twin sister of fucking scum was in there peeking up the, in the fucking, you know, out the window. I told you, the gang stalker people are so successful because they get to cohabitate with their bipolar twin and you don't. That's why you're all fucked up and you're always fighting against the tide of everything because you don't get to cohabitate with your window twin power activate twin, you know. It's all is done on purpose. Fuck you up. And you wonder why I'm so pissed off and that I say all this insane shit like these people should be publicly executed because they fucking should be. They're fucking disgusting. They're fucking monsters and every stupid motherfucker that goes to church is contributing to their own fucking imprisonment. Okay, you fucking dumb motherfuckers. 
What laws it says I gotta like you? <laughs> no, nah, you know I, you know I got, you know what is the reason I do everything I do? Why do I work eighteen hours a day for fucking nothing? Get the fucking salami? Why? Because I care about you. That's why. Why did I stay here and endure a thousand deaths and fucking die every death you could possibly die? Why? Because I fucking care about you, you know. What does it say in every religious text? He comes and tells you things you don't know. He comes and tells you things you don't know. He comes and tells you things you don't know. Well, what the fuck you think I'm doing? Coming and telling you things you don't know. But I don't see anybody listening to me or doing anything about anything besides the Pope. He's the only person that I see doing anything. The Pope. Nobody else. Well, that's not true. I believe now that China and Russia and America are now decided to band together. Tell the EU and the UN to go fucking suck an egg. And they're going to promise all of these countries that got bullied in there by these being a fucking disgusting hoodlum, bureaucratic, disgusting, aristocratic filth uh, that to receive and that they'll offer them protection and they'll support them any way that they could possibly support them. And that's, I believe, what's occurring. So you got all these motherfuckers out there that are trying to scare the fuck out of you and trying to propagate this lie that there's going to be some huge war and all this shit. Okay, we know that's complete bullshit now because all the countries are over there fighting the undersea alien bases that are, you know, these spaceships been coming out and creating these waves, wiping out uh, ships. So they became aware of these spaceships that keep coming out from underneath the ocean and going back, coming out and going back. Uh, so they, they, uh, what they, what they did is they, you know, reveal themselves. But don't forget, it's probably a trick so that they could get all the military over there so they could do something over there, you know. It's like it's like a bank robber that calls in a bomb threat to a school so all the police go there so he can go rob the bank, you know. But I don't know if the, the countries or colonies are wise enough to see that, but I see it. So that means that you got all these military ships, whatever, going over there to... To fight this undersea base, whatever, and but that means that most likely something is going to occur somewhere else, and they're not going to be able to address the problem because they're all going to be over there, and that's basically the same thing. The military is spread out all over the world uh, on purpose to, so they can't uh, defend America. You now, all this shit is done on purpose. And if you open up your eyes, you'll be able to see it. Hello, come back to Jamaica. <laughs> oh yeah, this is offline. So anybody who see anybody who's watching this, I know it's offline. So I know that you're inclusion with the crackhead Google stalker felt that took over Google, and that's another bunch of fucking scum that should be fucking annihilated, unless they want to search for redemption. So I've come up with some avenues of redemption for everyone that's already I condemned already. So I have avenues of redemption to lay before you, but that's another video because it's too much information at this point. But yeah, I'm into redemption. I'm into saving. I'm the saver guy. I'm the redeemer guy. I'm not the killer guy. Yes, I'm the angel of retribution, but there's no I in team. So I'm not going to punish nobody until the allies come in and uh, until they, they transform me and transfer me back to all the timelines unless the reptilians and greys want to come now and do that and then they can be my best buddies the first person who comes here wants to help me i don't give a fuck what you did where you came from what kind of hybrid alien person you are uh you're gonna be on my fucking team you know because you're the only fucking person with enough sense to come here and try to support me so you know, there was somebody here last night, you know, they knocked on the window and woke me up. You know, of course, there's, you couldn't see anything. So that means that it's, it's a, it was either a gray or a reptilian. You know, I left the shades open so they could come in. So they might, I might have had some.